Two men accused of working together to shoot and kill a 22-year-old in Brockton are getting ready to go before a judge. The pair was arrested last night after a three-day stretch. So let's get to NBC 10's Manash Kungwari live outside the courtroom there this morning. Manash, what can you tell us? Well, we just got word that the pair is expected to be seen by a judge this afternoon. But other than that, court officials and police keeping a tight lip on this case. We still don't know the names of the two people arrested or how they may know the victim, 22-year-old Joe Araujo of Brockton. What we do know, and you just mentioned it, is that it took police about three days to find both of the suspects. And in fact, Brockton police say they needed the help from Mass State Police. But despite the boots on the ground effort, what you're seeing now was the vital piece of evidence that helped crack the case. Surveillance video from inside the Hibachi Sushi Supreme Buffet on Crescent Street, the restaurant where Araujo was shot. In it, the gunman walks right up to Araujo's table and fires from point-blank range. Araujo's family was not in the courtroom this morning, but we were able to catch up with them yesterday. This video just replays in my head over and over and over. Something that I can never get out of my head, ever. It was loved by many. All messages I got, everyone saying they loved him. He was such a great kid. I just don't understand why. Who do this to my son? He have to pay. Or sooner or later, he have to pay. Now, investigators believe this was a targeted attack. Despite many people being in the restaurant at the time, Araujo was the only one that sustained injuries as a result of the incident. Now, we know both of the two people arrested are facing charges for their connection to that death. But exactly which charges they face is to be determined. The second we get more information, we'll be sure to keep you guys updated. But for right now, we're live here in Brockton, Manash Kungwari, NBC10 Boston.